This guy named Joel Salatin um, designed a bunch of cool brooder setups, um, chicken tractors and stuff like that. And he made a book that Tabitha had and it's uh, poly face designs. Basically step by step shows you how to build them. So uh, we're gonna build one. The chicks are gonna go in it pretty soon in a couple days. And so I'm gonna get building right now. Our neighbor Don gave us some uh, one by six pressure treated that were excess off of a cut he was doing. Um, aside from that, all the materials, wood, um, besides screws and uh, chicken wire, are just salvaged from the barn when we tore it down. It's uh, extra stuff that we're not going to use for the for the pole barn. This material that I'm using uh, isn't exact to the cut sheet in the book. Uh, they call for pretty much one third of most of these boards. Once I get a table saw, I'll be able to uh, take this apart and then I'll be able to rip uh, the boards to the correct uh, dimensions. How's it going? It's looking good. Everything's pretty much level. Just a couple things off. Fraction of an inch, so it'll be all right. Nice. And with the correct dimensions, I'll be able to pretty much build about 90% of three of these just from the material that I'm using on this one. So naturally, this one is about three times heavier than it should be. These uh, chicken tractors are pretty easy to build. Um, just following the instructions, it was super straightforward. Anybody could do it. Putting up poultry wire sucks. Um, we're going to be moving the chicks once a day. You basically slide this whole box, uh, the length of the box each day, and it allows the chicken to have access to fresh grass every single day. Makes them healthier and happier, and the meat tastes better. Cutting metal roofing sucks. The chicks have been under a heat lamp for the last three weeks, and that's about. this is about the time that we kick them out into the pasture. Um, we're going to start regulating their feed as well, so we'll have them on a 12 hour rotation. We'll take it away at night. This style of chicken tractor uh, is really good to deter uh, predators. Um, back in Washington we tried a different chicken tractor and it wasn't well as well put together um, and eventually uh, predators did get to the chicks. So. We've seen all different kinds of chicken tractors and uh, this one just it looks like it's going to be the best. Um, it's going to have them be able to live out here in the open, get fresh air, fresh, fresh grass. Also, um, the metal roofing and the siding is going to keep them sheltered from uh, the elements. In about uh, five weeks, we will be uh, learning to process these guys ourselves. Um, up until now, we haven't done it ourselves, so it'll be a new experience. Um, we've been reading up on it and uh, watching YouTube uh, tutorials, and we feel pretty confident. Uh, we still have to get the infrastructure to do that. The whole point in uh, doing the processing ourselves is basically it is cheaper to go to the grocery store and buy yourself a chicken, but this way we're raising them, we know what they're eating, um, they're having a happy, stress-free life. We're not just sending them off somewhere to get butchered. Um, it really brings the gravity of the situation. Um, they're given their life. Uh, we have a stronger connection to our food. Our kids le learn a valuable lesson. Uh, it's just a win-win in all aspects for us. Our long-term goal is eventually all the meat that our family consumes will be raised here uh, on our own property, um, not just meat, but eventually all of the vegetables and fruit. And eventually, we're probably not gonna be 100%, but we wanna get as close to it as possible with self-sufficiency and natural living as far as we know exactly where our food comes from because we grew it. And uh, we feel like that's the healthiest way for our family. In the book, it shows you how to build a uh, dolly and I'm going to do that next. It'll make it a lot easier for moving it. You just slide it under and it basically adds wheels to the back of this thing. Mommy. 
Yeah, buddy. What's up, baby? Are you coming with me? Yeah? We uh, have had a bunch of deer out in the orchard lately that are chewing off the tips of all the fruit trees. So um, I've been avoiding buying T-posts for it uh, to put up the wire around the trees just because they're they've gotten expensive. If you ever look at any of the prices at Tractor Supply, they're like double what they were a few years ago. So um, anyways, I remembered I had a bunch of garden staples, landscaping staples, and so um, instead I cut the wire and um, clipped it all together. Not clipped together, but like folded the wire around like this um, to hold it in place. And then I did the landscaping staples at the bottom. Um, and it holds them in place pretty well, so that way the deer hopefully won't uh, be nibbling anymore on our trees. And then I've got to figure out what to do with the raspberries that I got planted out here and the blackberries. But for now I think the fruit trees are okay. Um, that frost last week seemed to maybe cause a little bit of damage, but I'm hoping they'll recover uh, next year. This year they're kind of just working more on... Um, building a good root system and so I'm not too worried about it as long as we keep them watered and try to keep them healthy then they should come back just fine next year anyways this is the plum trees that we've got this one's looking really good but anyways that's it little boys are out here helping me today they uh, they're always my little sidekicks so um, Aldridge has been Aldridge has been hanging out in his playpen and or he hangs out in his carrier on my back and then Henry usually keeps him entertained or rides his little bike around all over the place so anyways we're gonna go work on building fire pit and see if we can get at least part of it done today and we'll do the other part um, probably tomorrow so anyways Brady said he's Got the chicken tractor finished up, so once I get some rocks put around the fire pit ring, uh, and gather up the boys, we're gonna go check that out. Hopefully get the chickens moved out today, just cause they're getting super messy and gross. So um, get them moved out on pasture today. It's just super Mom. exciting. Mom. Yeah, babe. Go there. Yeah? Go. What you doing? You think you're fancy climbing up on there now? Mommy. Woo, mama got it caught, hold on. Whoa. There we go, watch out. Scoot, scoot, scoot. I don't wanna hit you. You okay? No. No? Yeah, let's steal some of these rocks and hope we don't run into that snake again. We're gonna see your mom have a heart attack. God, I hate it. Do you wanna see the snake, Henry? Yeah. Come on. You wanna see it's underneath this rock. Mama hates it, hates it. Oh God. See, do you see it? No. Yeah. I know it's tiny. But they scare the crap out of me. What do you think? Do you like it? Or is it scary? It's scary. It's scary? Yeah. Watch. Is it go away, snake? Ah! God. 
Oh no. Say bye bye. Bye guys. Let's so, so go find a new home somewhere else. Go find a home somewhere else. All right. Mommy. I know I saw it. Mom. Oh, I think Eldridge is getting cranky. Okay, hold on. I think it's underneath that rock. We're gonna steal this one instead. Okay. It's okay. What, baby? It's okay. The snake's gone. No. All right. We're gonna take a break. Mr. Aldridge isn't. He's kind of over this today. I think he needs a bottle. Are you hungry? Do you need a baba? You need a baba? Hi. What? I found a snake. I found a snake. Where? Right there. Really? Yeah. We found one underneath the rock over there. We're gonna go move those meat chicks outside. You're gonna come help us? Yes, please. There's a bird nest there. Let's see if we can zoom in. I don't think we can see that very well. There's a bunch of babies in it. That's awesome. Okay, let's go see daddy. Uh, Big boy. All right. Mm -hmm. Henry, where are we going? Don't hold it. You gotta hold it so close. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Are you okay? No. You're fine. <laughs> he was bringing me clumps of dirt yeah. with his toy truck, and then he was putting them on top of my um, fire pit. And every time I told him thank you, you're welcome. You're welcome. Over and over and over. Ooh, what's that, Henry? That's cool. A rusty old thing. Nice. You get like a candle or something. Sweet. I'm definitely gonna make that dolly. Are you? Is it heavy? Yeah. You wanna start them over here? Yeah. Maybe easier to take them downhill. Yeah. Like we pull in that direction. Okay. Well, look at you go. Pete said they hate tall girls. <laughs> I think they'll be fine. They're so fat, they're gonna just like shove it to the ground. So, this opens this much. Okay. Unless you just this back a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna leave this one attached. Okay. Plans call for it and it'll make it easier when we... To leave it unattached? Yeah. Really? It'll be easier when we uh, take the chickens out. Okay. It's heavy enough, it's not gonna come off. You don't think animals can move it like raccoons? Well, I guess we have to put a five gallon bucket somewhere, right? Perfect. And just set it on top. Yeah, we can put a latch on here. Okay. Do you think that this will be a problem? This little opening? 
No. Is there no animal that can get in there? No. Mommy. It looks great. Thanks. This is what I have to do. Nice. Sit on top there. I think once we get that water, if we put the water up on um, up on top and then gravity feed it down. Yeah. Have to go through and bend these little things around each other. Oh yeah. Gonna have it long enough. Sounds good. You want some chicks? I do. You want to see a tick? Do you have a tick on you? Is that what this is? Yes. Well, I can't focus on it. Oh, God. Yeah, that's a take. Gross. Crap. Hey, Henry, how about we don't go on the tall grass? Yeah. Dad's gonna fling it at you. <laughs> Mommy. They're not very Daddy. easy to kill. Mommy. Yeah, Daddy. yeah, they don't really die. You have to just get it off. Okay, let's be careful because there's ticks out here, okay? Do you see the chicken tractor? Yeah. We're gonna move chicks out to it. Yes. Yes. Henry's excited. Yeah. Uh, I was thinking, why don't we just put them in the wheelbarrow? Then we can just wheel them over here. I don't think they can jump out. What, like, without a, anything? Just put them in there? Yeah. I don't think they'll jump out. We'll just have to go slow. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> Listen, you got a job. What? You are going to catch all the chickens and you're going to place them into the wheelbarrow nicely. Yay! Okay, hold on. Oh, I hit a tire. Okay. Okay, you set them in gently though. Very gently. Yeah. Two, three, four, five. <laughs> okay, hold it up to that one. So, these are the exact same age, and this is just a standard, I bet it's a golden laced Wyandotte. And then that is a meat chicken, and they're so Cornish much... Cornish cross. Yeah, it's a Cornish cross. Mommy, Look at Daddy. the size difference, they're crazy. Oh my god, this is the funniest way to move chickens ever. Yes. This is so easy. Okay, you set them down carefully. Oh my, my. Do you want to get down in there, Henry? There you go. You can pat him. This guy's squash. Ah! He just pooped. Be gentle. Be nice. Good this job. This one's the one that pooped on me. Good that one specifically. Uh huh. Yep. You can definitely tell. He's open. Nope. No, just the two front ones. Whoa. Go, go. That one's a flight risk. It's our first meat chickens out on pasture. Are you excited? Yeah. They're pretty cute. Do you like them? Their heads are pretty uh, soft, fluffy. I know. They've gotten so oh, big already. Do you miss honey? You know, two fingers. That <laughs> looks terrified. Yeah. Alright, boys. That. Let's hop out. Let's go figure out their food and water so Mama can get dinner ready. Okay? Okay, come on. 
<laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. All right. Hmm. Every day after school, could I come over here? We have these super long um, planter boxes, and so we're gonna just put a one by six in it so it's not so deep, so the meat chickens don't um, get stuck in it, because they totally will. Um, but Brady's cutting this down to size so that we can keep the feed a little bit shallower, but it's a nice, cheap, like that. cheap feeder. <laughs> will it sit straighter? Yeah, I think it'll be fine. Perfect. Just put a couple of screws in so the board stays in place. Just falls right down. This is mash. I don't think I've ever bought this kind before. What are you doing? Uh, you're just hanging out. Are you waving hi? Do you want to put this in? I'll help you with the water. Because as soon as you take the lid off, it's going to dump out the bottom. Headed out to go see the meat chicks this morning, see how they did last night. Um, it didn't get very cold last night, so I think they'll be good as long as no predators got them. But let's see. What you guys doing? You guys look good. Doesn't look like anything got in here. Hi, Chiggies. How are you doing this morning? Hmm? 